welcome to the PartyPoker.net European Open 4. 12 semi-finalists have been decided, and now it's time for round two. Our 12 runner-ups will play in two turbo matches, the winners of which will fill those last two seats in the semi-finals. The game is the same, but the rules have a hook and twist. Players have no more than 20 seconds to make each decision, and the levels last only seven hands each. The first turbo match features Barney Boatman and Ian the Razor Fraser. Who can be fleet on every street? The blinds go up every seven hands. It just means that you've got to move a bit quicker. And uh, I've never been too slow out of starting blocks, so hopefully it should favour me. The only way that I'm going to be approaching this differently is I'll be making all my decisions within 20 seconds. Clearly the, the range of hands that you, that you choose to play with is going to be much wider. Uh, there's going to be a lot of big over the top moves. Um, there's only one winner, there's, no, there's nothing for second today. So there's no point in hanging back. Everyone's going to be thinking the same way. It'll be very fast. Well this is it, the last chance saloon. Six runner-ups who uh, can still grab a seat at the semi-final table. And I'm in here with the Greek fish back again. Yep, nice to be here again, Jesse. Let's go over the rules, uh, Greek fish. You know, uh, the chips on the table are the same as always. Yellows are 1,000, blues are 2,000, reds are 5,000. But the blinds go up every seven hands, and you only get 20 seconds to make your decision. Now, of course, what's going to happen is they have to play fast, but after 10 seconds, if uh, they haven't made a decision, Mad Marty's going to start counting them down. That's right, and their hand will get automatically folded if they're not active in time. Okay. Cards are <laughs> in the Quite air, well. and uh, it's going to be quick. Is there a... Obviously, yes. usually everybody talks about getting their yes. chips in first. In this format, you have to only get your chips in second sometimes, yes. don't you? Or do you yes. think not as not as much? Well, it doesn't really matter at the early stage, at the later stage, you want to get cool. them in first. Six thousand total. Well, started here. Cool. He's raised. <laughs> He's uh, an El Goss calling this race straight away shows the intention. He ain't going to be bullied today. I, I I don't know who's uh who's got more beans here. Fraser for getting busy with this one, or El Haas for uh, defending. Oh, that's cool. fantastic. Cool. Oh, that's that's amazing. He's called with King High almost. He's obviously got plans further down the line. Well, El Haas was a bit of a sheriff uh, in his heat, and uh, he, he. Oh, he can't. He can't. Twenty thousand. He's what a Bus. play by Fraser. <laughs> I mean, Second come on. was unbelievable. El Goss knew you exactly what that he that was doing, and he still mm -hmm. folded. He couldn't do nothing about it. Yeah, Gasson's a, I know a brick wall, that, but yeah. uh, Fraser yeah. just put his head right through it. Well, I'll tell you something. He read the hand exactly right, but there's just nothing he could have done there. I mean, the only way he was going to win the pot is by re raising for his whole stack. Well, one mean. thing is for absolutely sure, Greek Fish. Somebody is going to go out of this turbo in flames, firing three <coughs> bullets with absolutely nothing. It, it has to happen. There's there's That's too many good bluffers here. Not only that, they're all good players. As yeah, I said, you don't come second in your heat by pure luck. I mean, these are all capable right. players. Raise to 5,000 total. Dave's found his King Jack, and that's a perfectly good hand to raise with in this position, but he's bumped into a big pair from me and Fraser. Raise to 25,000 total. And uh, even though it's uh, early on, it's only the second hand in the first level, uh, Fraser is not messing around, not taking flops. He's the champion, is he? I mean, Fraser's just different Holy. class at these events. Oh, we what a play! In. He could get cold there, though. Wow. He's got his chips in first, Hancher. Yeah. Let's see what Ian thinks. Ian to pick up a read on him. He's the best I know at this, Ian. He, he, have a look at him. He'll you know, get a read. If he feels his nines are good at the moment, he'll put it in. He ain't got much Five, time to get the read. Four, Five, four. Three, two, one. Hands, hands dead. dead. Wow. Oh, cool. What? Your hand's dead. Oh, when he's <laughs> messing around with the man, he's still dead, dead yeah? If he pulls out <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that, that is a massive move. If you've got an application for my crazy move. move. <laughs> it was Hancher golf twice. This is cool. This guy came in a button-down shirt looking like an accountant, but we know from his heat that Hancher is uh, full of plenty <coughs> of moves. Well, that impressed me, that move, I've got to say. I mean, Fraser that's... might have worked that out anyway. He said, I might have the best hand now, but um, if I leave it to a lotto, 
and I may come out last, so uh, I have a better spot and I fold. Raised to 7,000. He hasn't come out of Dilly Dally, cool. Fraser. Cool. Well, this guy, Trap, so he's, he's, you know, he's reading yes. everything what Fraser's doing now. Greekfish, this is the third That's hand. Uh, Fraser's played all three. Uh, Gossin has played uh, two out of three, and uh, everybody else is just watching with their mouths open. Check. Well, that threw El Hoss. Starting to think he's. Uh, well, El Hoss, uh, you know, that check for him completely is expected. Who keeps on blooping at us? That was Check. a perfect 10, card for the raise. Oh, that's 10, brilliant. 10,000. Look at that. Well, raised to 20,000. You've got to admire the, the initial bet by El Mossia. I mean, Fraser's happened to have the stone cold nuts cool. almost there. But um, he's going to pay him off. He well, needs a two here, otherwise in massive trouble. Or a three. The problem, Greekfish, feels <coughs> like uh, if El Hassa, if he stopped to think about this for a while, He'd, uh, he, he, he might think that, that uh, he cannot beat Fraser, but everything happens so quick. And he's going to uh, call him down. If he was winning on the turn, he's going to be winning on the river. That's why he's looking at it. 20,000. And that's a please call me bet. I mean, with 57 in the middle already. Uh, El Hoss has a lot of his stack here. Plus. And he's made a good fold there. He's had to change his mind during the hand, and that's a good fold. Well-weighted fold by El Haas. King Dewey, no gooey. As fast as Fraser started, uh, Ian Fraser, he's actually now the uh, tightest player at the table, that frequency-wise, but with blinds 5 and 10,000, uh, every reason to assume he's going to change gears. Well, there's no coincidence to that. That's the reason he's done it. It's, uh, bets like this would get respect. Plus? I mean, he's got six, seven Plus. of dimes. They're very beautiful and in uh, cash poker. Plus? But um, he's raised it early up. Decision time for Nichols, really. Well, I think he waits. I don't think he's going to push. I mean, he's got Queen 10. It's a lovely looking hand, but. I'm on it. Well. Are you raised all in? Not sure that's the right cool. play. Cool. And Fraser was committed to the pot and he's called him. Probably the worst two cards I wanted to see. Yeah, Nichols will feel pretty good about uh, about this at this stage. I, uh, he's. um. He, he, you know, you should figure that he's behind with a coin eye. I mean, he's decided that's his right in the stand, and uh, let's go for it. He, he's all in his nickels, uh, Greek fish. Fraser covers him by about 55,000, and... Uh, Silver coin straight up. Yeah, Fraser had it in his mind. If he if he faced a re-raise from him, he was going to call him no matter. It was an immediate call. There's the queen. Yeah, and um, he's looking good for a double up at the moment. And that's pretty much that. Yeah, I think Fraser's it's a double up. Here. It's, it's a double up for Nichols here. And he's back in. 165,000. That's going to make him chip later, Greek fish. Yeah, I, I mean, if the coin 10 wasn't suited, I think it's an instant fold by him. But um, I, I guess he drew his line in the sand. 55,000. And uh, one other thing what's going to happen with this prize, we get absolutely no respect when he raises from now on. As people have just seen next time, it was 6 7. I mean, it's a play that should have worked and could have worked, but, you know, it didn't. He's left himself 53,000, and he won't be messing about to get these in. Yeah, there's only one prize, of course, in this uh, Turbo Heat, and that prize is the semi-final seat. Oh, just a few more hands, and it'll be 7 and 15. Now, the fact that it's still six ways... Uh, oh, this is enough for Dave, surely, to, to get busy with. Raised 30,000 toes. Now, I like this raise, and the nice. reason why I like it is because he's pot committed and he's, he's giving off strength everywhere by not going all in and just raising to 30. But Hanshi's got a call here. He's short stacked and uh, he's got to go all in. Hanshi's got about 116,000. Johnson's in? got 67. Pass. Yeah, he's short stacked. He has to eliminate Pass. everyone else by going all in. Pass. <laughs> Dave can hardly fold now for, for the rest. Oh. And that's a good play by nice. Hanshia, really. So I eliminate everyone behind him by re-raising all in. Yeah, uh, he made the right decision there, Greekfish Hanshia, didn't he? But uh, situation now, it's Johnson all in. Yeah, it's desperate for Johnson. I mean, he's done nothing wrong. He's had no hands. Um, the hands he has had is one blinds only. So uh, there's two cards away from elimination here. He needs a nine and a nine only at the moment. Uh, there are no split pots now. Split pots out the door. It has to be the nine, as you say. 
Yeah, yeah, unlucky yes. though. Well We're going to see a lot more of this kid in the future. Well I'll um, send the rest behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Are they allowed to pass ships from Major one part of Bridge North to another? Is that, good is that player, he's having a good tour. He's never going to be able to draw that. Good news for Hancher. Yeah. He's in good shape. <laughs> we'll see how good my cards are. Huh? See how good my cards are. Well, That's looking at the uh, current positions. They've oh, Hancher now, chip good. leader, Jesse, with 198,000. Catch up. Close to the buy-in, Nichols, 175,000. I've made a lot of pre-flop raises. I fancy yeah, the getting a hand every time. Tide is Obviously tumbling not. here. Fraser <laughs> on the short stack. But, you know, I, I, we played 27 hands, or 26 oh, yes. anyway. When the blinds hit uh, 7 and 15, uh, you know, you can, you can close your eyes and... All in. Well, your hands yeah, have to be valued differently now. I mean, Jack yeah, King is an absolute blind. monster now. I don't know. And Fraser does exactly the right thing and pushes all in. Pass. Pass. I don't really oh, want to be... getting a stare down here, but enemy Nichols can't call with that. Well, saying that, is he in the blind? No, he can't call anyway. Pass. Five, six. Daylight, how that was. 15,000. Yeah, well, Fraser's not going to mess around. I mean, you know, no one's won the amount of heats he's won at this oh, format. As we start the new level here, Jesse, blinds 10, 20,000. We're going to see a lot more moves now, Jesse, a lot Pass. more all-ins. Fraser's just passed a pair of threes because he knows that Go with the blinds like this, Pass. he's liable to get called if he does make a move. Pass. And we can see our Hoss wakes up oh. a pair of nines and Hancher with a pair of sevens. Hand plays itself yeah, here, Jesse. Yeah. Uh, Insta call from uh, yeah, Hancher. You, you know, uh, these are the two big stacks right now. If, uh, if El Hoss's pair holds here, um, geez, he's going to have over 300,000. Yeah. 354 to be exact. It's El Haas all in, but, 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 but bidding to be a strong favorite for well, the semis. Yeah, with whoever wins this pot, it's going to be a favorite to finish this off. Ooh! Well, Fraser's getting excited Ooh, really? about That's something, but it's uh, no it's help for the play. sevens on this. I'll tell you what, these the are hearts are uh, no good either now. I was on the button, I might. So, um, he needs a seven hand shear here. Well, otherwise, old Hoss is going to take a huge chip lead. And he's down to Ten one or two sevens left in the deck. I hope I see a ten, seven, or a nine. <laughs> These are. Uh, you don't want to see that, do you? I think I want to see a ten, cool seven, or a nine. characters. Uh, Hancher oh, wow. and uh, El Haas, but you uh, could see a little tension on both their faces. <laughs> yeah, I, don't I mean, uh, yeah, no, very no, understandable, no. Jesse, at this uh, stage <laughs> of the game. Well, you know, from a value point of view, uh, basically, five of these guys of the six starting are going to go home with nothing, <coughs> and the other one's going to win uh, the equivalent of oh, 40 or more thousand dollars uh, in, in equity. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, a chance to grab wow. the part of the $500,000 prize pool, $200,000 first prize. You're, you're playing for big money here, and Hancher, you can see. Uh, he's on a limit, he's got 9,000 left. I mean, he's only guilty of trying to win it, like Dave Johnson did. He's just, just trying to play his cards, that's all. There's not a lot you could do when it gets to this stage, you know? guys have tried their hearts out and are now just they're grasping at the last straw and, and one of them's going to get the lifeline here it looks like el haas if we look out from the outset of this uh, tournament at the start of this heat he tried to win it from the first three or four hands <laughs> calling fraser's raises trying to outflop him but he's back in he's got a huge chip lead let's see if he can use it all in Jeez, oh like that's that's style. that's fantastic <laughs> no pissing around he's really? keeping the all pressure in. on here Oh, the bad thing for Barney is he could have cool. to call. Oh, yeah. All in. And he's dominated here. Yeah. He's absolutely dominated, but he has got diamonds and uh, he can still get lucky. Might as well. If you call, I might even have to call without <laughs> looking. I believe One that. One of us will well. go heads up. Fraser's not lying here. I, I know Fraser's definitely capable of doing that. No heads up. <coughs> nope. H Hancher's all in, 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 in the small blind for 9,000. Uh, Fraser, <laughs> it'll cost him everything. Well, they're going to see his cards anyway. They're going to see what Come he's raising with. Uh, big balls. Guys in. Big balls, you'll be out with the rest. Fraser's or you anyway. could be second ship leader. He's talking like he's got a very big day. Four, three, two, one. He's not going to call. Hey, easy pass Who's Fraser? called me? I called you. You have know, right. got a much ahead. Okay, Levy. He thinks he's behind. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> the bad news here. Yeah, yeah. Now, <coughs> now, just, just so it's clear here, uh, Greekfish, there's a main pot 
uh, in the eight, then. between Hancher's we'll be nine, I think it's four times. Yeah. Yeah. Hancher's all in uh, with 9,000. And, and the side plot is between Boatman and El Hoss. And um, obviously, <laughs> Boatman's all in. That, that's correct. And um, El Hoss has got the dominating <laughs> hand at this stage. So if uh, if El Haas uh, has the best yeah. hand out of the three, we're going to lose. Two out. That's yeah, he <laughs> <two points. laughs> doesn't want to sweat over, <laughs> no, over the no. There's uh, going to be a twist in the tell somewhere because uh, the Kings are not <laughs> that live no more. So it could I be an eight-nine flop. The mons, the mons. Well, there's the ten and there's the oh, diamonds. Oh, more importantly, and I'm going to be so excited about that. Yet. I've got to hit it on the turn because I want you to hit it on the You're all the diamonds are <laughs> out. It's turn or nothing. He had two diamonds. <laughs> yeah. They're definitely hard. I've got to hit it on the turn because I don't want to That's sweat the river party set. Well, oops. Well, he's got a straight Nearly. draw there. Nearly. Oh, we've got a straight draw as well. Queen. Oh, queen. For a chop, I'll settle for that. Oh, diamonds, oh, yeah. <laughs> she might have presented it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Give him two clubs. Seven well. He's live two draw. He's got a live draw, Jesse. He'd be happy with a draw at this stage. I don't mind you get the two clubs. He's out. You've got the seven. Seven of diamonds. Queen. Oh, Queen. Oh, oh, would you believe it, Jesse? They it. chop it. <laughs> <laughs> they chop it up. Hey. They both got the strike. We got a bit of his. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately for Hancher, he also oh, made the straight. Well, I'll just take this back and we'll chop it up. He's out of fit. Yeah, well, Hancher tried to Thank win you. it. He's no, done nothing wrong. And um, what did you have when you were all in against me? Look, look at the class uh, of the guy. He's walked around, shaved him one's hand, and uh, what did you walking have out with his head held high. He's done nothing wrong. He's a nice guy and a really good player. For our left, Greek Fish and uh, Barney Boatman hanging on 52,000. Him and Nichols. Well, in fact, everybody's kind of short except for Hassan. Yeah, but it could all swing around very easy. Hypothetically, if Ian Fraser doubles up from uh, Hassan, then uh, it swung back round and Fraser in the lead. You know, he's just got over half the chips in place. Still got a lot of work to do. And uh, the short stacks will be all in place? very shortly, well, I would have thought. I'm going to let the viewers at home see my cards because I'm not interested. Your top line, please. <laughs> <laughs> Barney's playing in the dark here, he says, and uh, you can't you really good? blame him, Jesse. No, he, he's got... Uh, Any nudge? Jesus, he's got 40% of his chips in with a big blind, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, and then he too will do it. He's just hoping he gets a walk at the moment. What? Yeah, oh, sorry, guys. Impossible. Coming over. Impossible. Raise all in. I'll, I'll take Fraser, you on. Yeah, yeah, Fraser's yeah. not messing around. Jack King's huge at this stage. Someone call me. I have to. He's got a call, you not he? has got a call. He hasn't got enough for the small blind. Oh, wait, can I don't oh, get a lot well, worse? Not, it's, it's not an easy decision, this. Poor old Barney. Looked. Poor old Barney. Oh, he's, he's relying on getting <laughs> a bit lucky <laughs> now. It's not his fault. He can't do nothing about that. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah, the decision oh, yeah, here. Done, I, I yeah. guess Greek said he wanted to play a pot that had over a hundred thousand in it. <laughs> over and out. One Ten later four. on, that only had Breaker, about Breaker. Uh, fifty thousand well, in let's, it. Let's let's look at it another way. Still if he wins his pot, he's back in with a shout. He's got a puncher's chance. If he folds, he ain't got Followed not a lot of chance at all. So. Right. <laughs> all in for Mr. Boatman. <laughs> yeah, he's going to need to be lucky. Uh, that's mm, not no, helps him. That doesn't help. Ace, ace, nine. No, it's not good news for me. Are we looking for a four or a ten? On the turn of the I river, why is this good night, Barney? I'll make a straight. And he's literally oh, going to be no, 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 four. Only four. four. Yeah. Yeah. Ten's not going to work here. No, 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 it won't. What am I geeing up for you? I should be geeing up for him. Stand up for him. He's missed it. And we're going to have to say goodbye to Barney. You go. Good luck, everyone. Pleasure to meet you. Good luck. Cheers. Have Yeah, Barney, always a pleasure. Of course, it's disappointing to leave the tournament, but, you know, it really is in a turbo. It's anybody's game, it gets very fast very quickly, and it's fun actually. Three left here, Fraser's uh, looming. Well, he was the favourite pre-heat, he's the guy with the experience, and uh, he's put himself oh, in a position where he could go on and win this now. So, uh, looking at the chip pie here, it's 3-2-1, uh, Haas, Fraser, Nichols. It's uh, all to play for, Greek Fish, but they won't be playing any higher, 15 and 30,000. Sky high they go here. Yeah, it stops at this now, 15, 30,000, but I see, think we're going to see pretty much the same sort of thing. Getting iffy now, isn't it? I call. Cool. Make a lovely game. You've got to like the way this guy's playing. El Hoss, King 9. Hoss. I'll call, he says. Yeah, it's, uh, there's, you know, there's 75,000 out there now. Well, it's a big part. Well, I'm he's old. running so much. I got. And cool. it's cold instantly. Instant call, and Fraser's yeah, got it in with the best here. This, uh, this looks is massive. Yeah. Massive, nice massive, one. massive, Jesse. Whoever wins this pot will probably go on to win the heat now. I mean, over 400,000 in the middle. And should Fraser hold up with the best hand here, he'll be hot favourite here, Jesse. 
That's decent. And it's, it's give a gut shot straight here. 10 would give. No, sorry, I misread that. 403,000 in the park. Why did I think he had coin nine now? But anyway, Fraser's good at the moment. He's from space. No split mm, pots out king, there. Yeah. It has to be the nine or king. Yeah, avoids the king or the nine and Fraser's doubled up. Massively. And he's done it. Ace high. He's wow, done it. Wow, wow, wow. And that are pleasing. Yeah, I mean. Wow. Yeah, this has been some performance, and uh, I'm not sure how far that knocks Gasan El Haas back, but it's something serious. Yeah, Price is in a great position now. Good. He's got over 400,000, and um, he knows how to use these chips. Mm. Not even going to bother looking. Yeah, let's see what he's, he's making oh. a statement there. He's saying, yeah. look, if you try it on, I'm going to call anyway. Okay. So he's he, trying to make him fold and meet yoga hands. Yeah, um, I, th I think he's right. I mean, he's got 30,000 in, doesn't he, Greenfish? Yeah. Plus? He really can't. I'm on uh, yeah, he's letting it? him know. It's an instant call with any two here by Fraser. Cool. Yep. And, What's uh, he got? Queen five of hearts for Nichols. Fraser hasn't shown his hand yet. We can't see what he's got. But it doesn't matter. It would be any two, to be honest, yeah, that Fraser being. He's got ace nine, so I mean, even there, Fraser's has got a nice hand, so uh, we could be heads up soon, Jess. There's the five. He's got out flopped. That's not very good for me. A diamond could be interesting also here. Come on. Now it's got to be an ace or a nine. Otherwise, Nichols would be doubling up here. Oh, and there it is on the unlucky. river. Right. He kind unlucky. of half expected it there, Jesse. Thank you. It did come on the river. And a nice uh, bit of sports So I've got to win four times in a trot. From Nichols and... Uh, Against me as well. I'm the luckiest boat I here. like the way he played tonight, Lickle, mm, Nichols. Uh, excuse me, but He's Fraser. Very, very close <laughs> to sealing this deal. Uh, he had to push, didn't he, Greek Fish? Yeah, but it's, Fraser's picking up hands at the right time. He's had some lovely hands over the, you know, the course of this level and previous level. And um, he's used them. Ace on the river from space, as he said. Would you like to play for everything? Well, these two are about to. <laughs> Only one seat open in the semifinals. And uh, the other guy gets nothing. Fraser, Greek fish, he's played a stormer. I mean, uh, it's such a narrow path to victory, and he's navigated it well. Yeah, he's, he's top man at this sort of thing, but... El Hoss is still in with a shout. He's only three hands away from winning this outright. Yeah, and, you know, he's got a great attitude, this El Hoss, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's played well. He's played his hands accordingly. That's a luck. And this is why I like to see, it. you know, a bit of sportsmanship. They shake hands, wish, uh, wish each other luck, and uh, may the best man win. In this turbo, uh, Gasan El Haas started out very, very uh, loose as far as how many hands he was playing Greek fish. But lately, it's kind of switched a little bit. Well, I think he's been playing poker. He's not just been gambling. He's been playing poker, and he's been playing it well. The big what news, of course, is, is that uh, Ian Fraser's got 525,000. And as the blinds are 15 stiff. and 30, uh, you know, if it's not all over this hand, then that means uh, El Haas is probably doubling up. It'd be soon, but he don't want to cheap double up. I mean, Fraser don't want to cheaply double him up. but 60,000 more. I think it's Razor has made the raise here. Blind as well. I, and it's called blind, I think. Yeah, oh, got an eight. Know. I mean, <laughs> he's going to be able to play 150,000 pot instead of trying to play a... Yeah. A, uh, On the bright side, if he wins this, doubles up again next go, and then yeah. doubles up again, he wins it. He's only three wins away from actually winning this outright. I think he's hit the flop, is he? Oh, is, that's not the flop. That's the dealer putting the cards down, sorry. Five cards of fate. Gasano Haas needs to hit some. Fraser's going to the semis. Yes, I know, I need some help here. See one. Instant service of Mr. Fraser, twice. It's over, isn't it? He's flopped top two, Jess. Uh, he's, uh, sorry, he's flopped two pair, he's kings and eights. And uh, our Hoss is on a limb here. I mean, he needs running cast to try and get straight here. <laughs> I mean... He got absolutely side-handled. through the back door. And that's that. <laughs> well, yeah. We have a result. <laughs> and... Uh, through yeah. the back door. Full house. Full and house. to rub it in, just giving a full house in the river house. to put Tinical. insult to injury. And this Ian Fries is unstoppable. Yeah, he's going to be a big mm. danger in the uh, semi-finals. 
that last hand. Really just a victim of math, uh, El Haas, and I have to call you. But uh, flop, two pair, and then the river, the full house, it's uh, overkill. Yeah, Fraser's hot at the moment, and um, it's played fantastically well and had the luck at the right times today, and a uh, worthy winner. It was sort of exactly what I expected. I mean, my plan was to go out and, and mix it up really early, try and get a cushion so at least I had a, a puncher's chance, do you know what I mean? Uh, what One go for nothing, as it were. And then uh, everyone else was doing the same thing, but I stuck on in there and I'll pick up the cards at the right time, and that's what seems to happen with me. Ian Fraser has had uh, my number all night from the beginning, and I've tried to avoid him all the time. I know it's easy to say when you win one, but it is a fa fantastic format to, to get another player through to the semis. You know, uh, you could see everyone was enjoying it. It was very exciting to watch, I should imagine. Um, and again, I'm delighted to go through, and, and now I've got every chance of winning. So Ian Fraser takes that seventh seat in the first semi. One more turbo to go. Six more runner-ups, among them Manette Oberstadt and Phil Helmuth. Without further ado, fly, Captain, fly. I feel pretty good. I mean, I really do. It seems like I'm on top of my game right now. and. You know, I mean, events just kind of unfold in front of my eyes. I'm just, I guess, mellow, observant, um, kind of ready to rise up and show, you know, the world what I can do. But we'll see. Feeling pretty sick, obviously, because I lost heads up to Roland. Um, but uh, although my mood would normally hinder me, it could easily help me in today's fast structure because the chips are going to go in fast. 13 out of 14 seats in the semi final are occupied. One of these six will get the last one. And it's time for round two. Welcome back. Plenty of poker to play here. Blinds will start at one in 2000. You can see Helmut taking off his jacket. I mean, 20 seconds, it's not much, Roland. You gotta, you gotta move fast, Keep don't you? Well, right, you gotta move within no. 20 seconds, I'd imagine, but Last time I saw you <laughs> Helmut is, uh, is not someone who, who moves fast. He's, he's methodical, lumbering, and, and take, takes his time with the decisions. Seconds, yeah. He likes to try and get reads yep. on people. So I've got time for sex and then decide what to Yeah, it does. I think, it's, I think it's going to be Pass. difficult for him today. But Pass. again, I mean, he's, he's a fantastic Pass. player. He's, he's, he's right. the class Raise. act in, in this lineup. To 8,000 total. Pass. How Pass. important are cards going to be? I'm all in, I? How important is it Ooh. to get good cards? Well, in this, in this sort of format, I'd say it's, it's more important than anything else. I think you should have it's the most important factor to deciding who's going to go through. I don't, I don't need the 20 second rule. <laughs> I don't think I've ever took 20 seconds. You can't, because, because of the, the blinds. You know, you know the maths, you know, that's very important, but especially for the first few levels, get good cards, get a good hand, get your money in good, yeah. if you can. That's right, yeah. Be aggressive. I don't know if LaSalle Barrow is going to have the aggression in C5 required to get through this. He, he's he's a, more of a caller, he's not he's not going to be put, putting his money in, which mm -hmm. is something you need to do when it becomes this. Pass. You need to get other people folding to you. Raise. Raise to 6,000 total, pass. Speak to the devil, Barrow picking up a good pair here. Pass. And uh, I would imagine that Phil doesn't oh. really have a form line on the cell. No, I'd imagine he, he hasn't Pass. seen the cell play. But here we are, ace queen against pocket nines. They could have got they could have got all the money in here. Sure. It's a Check. Good, good flop for the cell. Phil's gonna have to make a quick read, as you said. Nine thousand. Cold. Check Going it. here. Checking the dark. What's his plan, do you think? If he misses, fold the turn? I think it might well be that. He does have the Queen of Hearts. Sixteen thousand. Half the pot. Is it an under bet? Cold. Wow. <laughs> Helmut doesn't realize what bad shape he's in. Yeah, he needs a heart, he needs a queen, he needs an ace. Nine of hearts uh, would be a, a, a very uh, ugly card for him. No, he's missed. Check. 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 Ace queen. 
And LaSalle Barrow taking a piece out of the champ, Phil Helmuth. But that's going to make LaSalle feel good. Yeah, of course. There's nothing really Phil can say. He was. Good he probably should have folded on the flop. Thought his hand might be good, but you don't really have, don't well, really have time for those stubborn, more, stubborn calls in this in this event. Instantly. Probably a bit of naivety in the format. He's just given away a third of his stack. Twenty-seven thousand extra from flop on, right? Yeah, I mean, just give it up on the flop or, or we always free flop. And I don't mind just calling to see a flop, but once once you miss the flop, just give it up, Phil. Phil's down to sixty-seven thousand, and this one's only two hands old, which is actually nearly half the first level. <laughs> Raise to 8,000 total, pass. Ace-8 for Phil, four times the pass. big blind, and he is the short stack. Pass. Call. And, uh, pass. Good one's got it informed. It's a weird call, Mark, because, I mean, he's not even really guaranteed. Phil's a tough guy to get paid against anyway, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, a raise is probably better, but... Mm -hmm. I like that. Jack. Check. I need to check that flop. They might have a stab it on the turn if it comes something unthreatening like a five or a four. Check, check. Yeah. Now he's going to try and see it out of showdown. He's got quite a few cards to dodge. Check, check, and clear. The Ducks. <laughs> Looking strong. And uh, A something against Pocket Bear. I thought it might be a split pot, but I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is the first level over. Seven hands have been played, and uh, Goodwin's won three. Helmuth's on the uh, goose egg. It's amazing that Dixie's won a pot and hasn't yet played one. <laughs> that was the blind, was it? <laughs> well, this can't be an hour-long show, can it? I, I guess it is. I've is played in some poker itself? games like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> the house, the guy, the, the house man always seems to win. Yeah, but it's not like playing. poker after dark where they show every hand. No. And they edited it down to three minutes. Pass. The the only player at the table who you'd say the Pass. situation or strategy has changed for Pass. stack wise is uh, twenty one minutes, right? I mean, has it changed yeah, for Barrow at all? No, I don't think so. Raise to ten thousand. If you can get a nice start, but you, you don't need to be moving yet. Yeah. You don't need well, to be applying pressure on other players just yet. How do you do this? Well, still uh, level two Phil. still counts as one of the early levels. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks. We're selling them. This is part of my clothing line. You do mean MG? Yeah, that uh, T-shirt that Helmus got rolling does. You have to do 24 that. 24 karat gold inlay. It's off for sale on his website for seven hundred ninety-nine. This is my favorite shirt, though. But, right, uh, okay. Sadly, if you hung out with me the last forty days, I probably wore this thirty-eight days. I mean. I have 20 of them, but you know. Pass. Pass. Did you think he goes to his own website and buys them? Or, I, mean, <laughs> I can't imagine anyone would ever. Would he, ever told me I, he told me I could have a pair for a t shirt for three, 300 dollars Yeah, it's so. Pass. I don't think anyone in their right mind would take that who, who's not related directly to Phil Helmuth or has shares in his company. <laughs> this one I like just like this. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, we have all kinds of other shirts Pass. too. And uh, do you think, would Annette be, she's obviously getting raising hands rolling, but uh, would she be raising, uh, That's a new adventure raising here without these kind of hands? Clothing company, you know? Yeah, just raising uh, uh, I think that she, she, she needs uh, something, she needs a playable hand. Macy's, uh, that would be great. Yeah. Other one she's got or better probably, uh, Queen Ten Suited is probably like at the bottom of her range. <clears throat> so three and six thousand, halfway through already. And uh, your prediction, Annette, is... Comfortably in front. Her uh, her win in the uh, WSOP Europe, Roland, uh, was pretty pretty uh, considered a pretty impressive result around the poker world, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean it's a fantastic Praise. event to win, and she, you know, it was more her, more her age and to 15, Roland, being totally. female. Play the sand. I'll sell it to you. Pass. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Pass. Nice fold by Dixie there. And, but Annette, Annette, and then she, she made another result in the Dublin EPT, finishing 1 0 up. Cool. So. Yeah, very impressive. 
we'll see. We'll see if uh, <coughs> it goes on. But I think she'll definitely have, continue to have good results. She's got a solid game. This is Check. pretty much it for Mark Goodwin. <laughs> is he good? This is kind of what he expected, <laughs> isn't it? Two pair. He's got the bottom two, and that's got the top two, and there's just there's just nothing, right? Yeah. Okay, so Mark um, eliminated in sixth. Cool. Um, and then that now with a big chip lead. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Yeah. And uh, you can see Mark, uh, he doesn't look very surprised. <sighs> nice hand. You can still hit an eye. I don't like when people stand up. Stand up, they always suck out. You haven't played against me before. <laughs> I'm not one of the sucker outers. <laughs> we'll <see. laughs> Mark will feel like he's a suck out tee. There's only one nine to hit. Yeah. It's, uh, pretty much nothing Mark could do once the flop came down, is there? No, not really. I mean, good luck, everyone. Cheers. Oh, lucky. He's not very lucky. Mark Goodwin out in sixth. Yep. Good luck, everyone. It was a very cold setup once the flop came down, as Roland said. Top two versus bottom two, and that's all she wrote. One nine left in the deck, and. Goodwin not going to snare it. Big lead for a net 15. you got to take your chance because you got another go. And uh, I just walk, you know, one big hand into another, you know. It's not very often you flop two pairs, so the chips had to go in. If it was rolling, they would have hit a nine and I would have won. But, like, you know, we don't do that in the real world. Line's going up to five and 10,000 rolling. And Annette has turned up the heat and uh, Phil has got himself back a little. Yeah, it's uh, Annette Barr, as they say in horse racing. Barr and Annette. Dixie, uh, this has to be what Dixie was waiting for, five and 10,000. He's only done about 10,000 damage to his stack. Hasn't moved a hand yet. And uh, he'll be like a Dixie Pass. train now, won't he? He has to be. What's a Dixie train? It's the train that I think that Sherman took down to Georgia to wipe out the South. Fast, Fast, just I just made that up, actually. Pass. <laughs> Phil's just limped in here. Cool. cool. Phil's just limped in. Race. Phil's just limped in with the aces, and he's got LaSalle on the hook. Okay. Why mess around? Lynn. Just oh. waste time. I don't think he's going to call anyway. <laughs> That's just come All perfect right. for him, isn't well it? Well done. And, uh, yeah. and there's an eight down. There's an eight down. Wow, the bullets for Phil Helmuth. And uh, it was a pretty good move by LaSalle, wasn't it? I mean... I don't think I can lure you in by stalling 20 seconds. Or would you, would you have made it a smaller raise? Or? No, I, I think for him it's you not tell about don't don't tell money in there. There's 20,000 out there. He's, he's got chips. It's not the worst oh, play. Mind. He's got a medium pair. He's got lucky. Phil trapped him pretty well. Oh, still the uh, good news for LaSalle, if there is any, uh, is that he's got Phil Helmuth covered, I believe. So it is Helmuth all in. Yep. Has to be the case eight. That's it. Just one eight in the deck. It needs to be eight of diamonds or Phil Helmut doubles up. With some cannily played pocket aces. Thirty. And uh, just like that, forty it's the, uh, fifty. Helmut Oberstad show or showdown. Yeah, the two favourites are now looking looking comfortable. Seventy. I see 75,000. Okay, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. I don't know, sometimes I like to give people just a little rope. I saw your heads up at, uh, on the last heat. This is kind of forced from LaSalle, isn't it? I saw the time. I know you really want to get chips in with Deuces. I saw the last time. What else is he going to do? Ace King suited, I limped in with that. No choice here. How much is that? He moved in with 10 6. Has he got any fold equity at all? 19,000. Come yeah, on. he has some. All in. Has Tim moved all in with the eight high? Tim's lost his, Tim does this. He, I've seen him do this before. He he gets the third person out, but does put his whole stack at risk in doing so. Not. Pass. So... He's <laughs> playing some numbers here. <laughs> Look 19. at Dixie. 19. He's saying, what are you doing, man? I had Jack. Queen Jack. But... Uh, what did you call? That's <laughs> <laughs> bad. <laughs> I had king four. It's, there's a method to Tim's madness here, right? Yeah, he's giving himself better odds on the pot. Instead of 
Instead of uh, being up against two hands, he's only up against one for the same size pot. But I want to put his whole stack at risk to do it all. I don't like the play, but here he is. Heads up. Oh my god. Oh. Flush draw. Action draw. And the queen as well. Oh, it gets tasty. They would have got all the chips in the other side part. Three of us. I'll put Jack Queen. Good job you never flat cold. Isn't it? Imagine it now. Yeah. Yeah, and he's grinning all well. He's not grinning yet. I'm not grinning at all. Don't worry about that. No, I understand that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Barrow's Max all in, the 48,000 in there, and Flanders has got plenty He's of cards to, to catch there, right? to crack the ducks. Oh. Oh, get all your chips. Oh, <laughs> dear. Thank you. 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 Welcome back. Can Dixie afford to let the blinds go through him here? If, if Flanders folds, I mean, he's only got four blinds. That doesn't, what kind of range does he have to push with? Um, ATC, it's any two cards time. Pass. Pass. All in. Well, Sell's got Pass them. Huh. And 33,000. And that'll be a layer. She's, she's gone all in. You're all in? She's put her Pass. stack at risk there. That's a, that's a big risk, isn't it? It is a big risk in case Bill wakes up with a big hand, but... She knows that she doesn't want Phil calling with, with any two being priced in. She wants to have this pot headed up. But as it, as it happens, she's in bad shape. Wow. She gave you some nice protection there, bud. Barrow, who... Uh, Jeez, he was down about 15,000. He tripled 15 up, and now a chance to double up plus 81,000 in there, 64%. And that tends to, you know, she's from the school of well, not bad with three, 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 three shots there. Queen six of diamonds. Good school. <laughs> it's, it's good school. <laughs> Mark Goodwin should get the address right. of that school, shouldn't he? <laughs> three three of us. Come three on. Of us, you want? Make it fun. She's right. at heart's a good sweat card. <laughs> uh, there's no split pots out here. It'll have to be a four. And a four only. All the sell by. You should say he's back in the game. Oh. There it is. Oh, Three out of one I'm sorry, could you tell me the phone number of that school at least? <laughs> okay, thanks. And how much does it cost to get it? The sell the barrow. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's done very well in this tournament. <laughs> Hello, Annette, na na Annette, Oberstadt. She uh, dominated there, but uh, it was Lucelle all in, and the four on the river put her in a very strong position. And with the blinds going up this fast, it can't be that wrong. Just a little, maybe. Mm. The problem. When I catch you, I hope that I... Surely that's, surely that's it. Up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's surely. Up. This is it. Yeah, go on, Dixie. All in. Pass. <laughs> How much is it? Thirty-eight thousand total. Wow, thirty-one thousand. Oh. Pass. And uh, I don't even know if Tim looked. I mean, I'm guessing he looked, but it didn't really matter, right? It was. No, they were. I think he has to call whatever he has. Well, it's another. It's just the same as what I've got in, isn't it? I've got no choice. First hand, Dixie's time. played. He's a strong favorite here. I had the jack six. I wish he was. And I think if this holds up, you might see a little bit of a fist pump. It's close. You know, I've got to call that one, right? <laughs> uh oh. There's your jack. Jack! There's my jack. It's my name. King oh, or a nine, though. Still a two over cards. Yeah, I think I'd be folding. Right? Ten king nine. That's made it difficult. Actually, he's out, isn't he? He is out. Too fair. You knew that six was coming for Helmer. Just in case. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was, I knew that was coming. Yeah. Good game. Lucky. He, he had he had the yeah, driest seat in the house. I'm, uh, I'm looking back like I should have played the Dixie Jack Dean. Six suited. Another one leaves the stage, the arena. Dixie finally found a hand to make his move with, and uh, two pairs for Tim Flanders instead.
<laughs> Just half the table now. <laughs> seats one, feet. two, and Trey. Yeah. And uh, Tim Flanders to moving into second. Uh, yeah, but that's I mean, what, uh, that's what, what, the, what are the that, dynamics that's, here? That's why I'm still helping. Still seven or fifteen thousand. Well, I think Annette's going to be putting the pressure on, but she want to be doing it by forty-five. Raising rather than total. Rather than calling, and she probably know that Phil has. Call. She's going all in. She's wow. got Phil. Ace King versus Ace Jack. It's all over. Now you have some money. Cool. Let's see. Helm is done. He might outdraw her this time, though. He might. He might. Do you feel it? Oh, really? The deck's kind of cold for one of us. Let's see who. I've been running good so far. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's hearts. Wow. Juice of clubs. Phil's oh, in better shape now than he was before the flood. He's hard. 52, 46. Jack, you don't mind a jack heart. quite as much. Oh, well, at least I'm out. That's a good card. Not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Not really. Deuce. Ten would make Phil a Deuce of hearts? Nah, just clubs, if any. Nice. Wow. What a cooler. Good game. Yeah. It holds, Roland. <laughs> it does. Phil Helmuth. Frustrating game. Knocked out. A little bit frustrated that I didn't make it because, you know, I was really unlucky against Yuha. And then in this match, you know, I didn't win the key pot that I needed to win either. So, but it's okay. You know, I mean, you show up and you play the best you can play and you can't control much beyond that. There is no runner up prize for the runner up here, Roland DeWolf. And uh, Annette Oberstadt, I mean, she has been so good, so impressive, so aggressive, and she has a nearly a three to one chip lead right now on Tim Flanders, but he'll know what he has to do, won't he? Yeah, he's not scared to put the money in, and he'll, you know, Annette, Annette has, has been lucky in this heat. She's hit a three outer, and she, she got a nice warm deck against Mark Goodwin and against Phil Helmer, so, you know. She's going to be pretty scary to beat, but he, he's definitely fearless and he's definitely not scared to put the money in, which is what you need. And actually, I would say that of the, of the four people he, she could be faced with, or the five, he's the most dangerous because he, he's most likely to throw the money in with, with any two cards. He has actually, looking at this, been more aggressive bet frequency-wise than Annette, although uh, obviously she's not only won more hands but won the big hands. It'll be interesting to see, are there any bets besides All In in this contest? I think that um, with the blinds at 10 and 20,000, you know, Flanders can open, can't pass if he makes it 50,000. So we're not with his stack. She, she, she can, she's ineffectively betting all in because she's only betting against his stack. So no, there isn't much. So who's chip leader if, again? If the chip leads even out. I mean, sorry, if the chip's even out, maybe. And uh, this is how it's going to be. Obviously. Uh, he just doesn't want to find a king here. On double On double up. Cole. Cole, I have an ace. Well, well you're winning with the ace. Uh, against Annette's range there, I mean, in, in her heat, she, I think she Something moved all in queen. 17 so consecutive times on the button. Well, so, uh, yeah, these are just two. Yeah, she, they both got strong heads yeah, up. Not about there's nothing that, there's nothing that either of them could do. It's uh, <laughs> the money goes in, and now we just see well. who's lucky. Annette <laughs> going to the semi finals unless Flanders can hit. I'm surprised you've got an ace. I don't decent. think Flanders can hit. <laughs> that's, a, that's a flop without drama, isn't it? Yeah, that's how Annette's been running. She just, just absolutely smashed it. If you hit that on the slot machine, the bells would ring, the attendant would come over, and quarters would be flying out. Three sevens for Annette Oberstad, and she's going to be in the semis. And uh, Roland, best of luck. <laughs> the way Annette's running, the way Annette's playing. Uh, going to be a force. It felt really well playing with everyone today, especially since I knocked out Phil Helmuth. <laughs> it's very satisfying. Congratulations to Ian Fraser and Danette Oberstadt, who have gotten into the semifinals through the back door. Next time, the first semifinal will play out, and Ian Fraser, as a former champion, could be favorite. But don't forget about UK Open winner Andrew Feldman, nor British champion Mike Ellis. Next time on the PartyPoker.net European Open 4.